G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. One MJ here. Well, I guess everyone's reporting on the exact same thing really, but how could I not? So, massive hack in Twitter. So, a whole stack of celebrities' uh, Twitter's uh, accounts have been hacked and fake uh, posts have been put out. Uh, requesting people to send Bitcoin uh, to them and they would basically uh, send back twice as much. Now hopefully anyone who's watched my channel would know uh, I've spoke about some of these scams. No one, and I repeat no one, is giving out free Bitcoin. Or not many anyway. And if they are going to give out free Bitcoin or free Ethereum or free XRP or whatever it is, they're not going to ask you to send some to them first and then they'll send you twice as much back. It's just not happening. Now they were pretty clever whoever these hackers are because what they've actually done is they have hacked Twitter employees' accounts to then get into Twitter. So they've used a kind of backdoor thing. I mean, that's what you know they always say when someone's been hacked. Oh, they use a backdoor hack. But this time they really have. They've gone through Twitter employees who had uh, access to... Uh, the the Twitter platform uh, and that's how they have uh, got in and we'll go down here and we can have a look so here's one from Joe Biden but it wasn't Joe Biden it was just the hackers I am giving back to the community all Bitcoin sent to the address below will be sent back double fold if you send one thousand dollars I will send back two thousand only doing this for thirty minutes again uh, for anyone who's new to cryptocurrencies, please don't fall for this. If someone is going to be giving out free Bitcoin or free Ethereum or whatever, and some people do it on occasions, they're not going to ask you for anything other than the address where uh, you will receive it to. That's it. They're not going to ask you to send some to them first and they send you twice as back much. And I mean, look, the easiest way is just don't get involved. If someone's giving out free crypto just leave it alone it's probably going to be a scam i know there are a couple of legit people that do it every now and then some youtubers have done it before and definitely people on twitter have done it before but most of it 99 percent of it would be a scam so just please be careful and again if they are giving out free crypto on that you shouldn't have to send them some to get twice as much back and likewise if they're saying there's you know sometimes you can get uh emails and Twitter things and all sorts of stuff saying there's something wrong with your wallet. Say you've got the Trust wallet or I don't know, the Atomic wallet or the Exodus wallet. It'll be a fake email and they'll say, you know, there's something wrong with the wallet. You need to send us your seed phrases so we can fix it. Negative. Do not do it. It is a scam. You will lose everything. Please don't do that. Please don't fall for it. So anyway, that's really the big story trending at the moment is this mad, um, massive US Twitter hack. I don't want to say it's a good thing, but if you can find a good side to it, is I don't think uh, too much money was scammed out of people. I thought I heard something, and they said it was around about 170 uh, Australian dollars, 170 thousand in Australian dollars. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's still a, a good whack of money, but you know, at least it's not gone into the millions that I'm aware of, uh, and it is unfortunate for the people who who got scammed by it. Uh, that really it doesn't help the space but anyway hopefully that was uh no one that's listening to this today now something that i've seen that uh, is interesting on the markets it's thursday normally we get a bit of a sell-off around about sort of friday and the weekend so i guess friday is kind of coming but it's a little bit earlier than usual now we can see in the 24-hour market there's just been a sell-off there's red all over the place we can see a little bit of buyback here in the uh, in the last sort of hour or so, but nothing major really. Now there will be some uh, reasonable gainers in there, I'm sure. I mean, we can have a look. There we go. IXEC RLC, they've done pretty well. Everyone, excuse me, everyone else, pretty small gains. Synthetics Network, I am going to do a video uh, on them pretty soon. They're my number one gainer, uh, so I'll do a video uh, on them in the very near future. But again. So other than the 12% in the last 24 hours, and don't get me wrong, 24, 12% uh, is good in 24 hours, uh, nothing major. Um, now we go over here and I found a very interesting article on Cointelegraph. 
Bitcoin exchange inflow spike as analyst expects pullback to 8,800k. As I said, I you know it's all kind of coiling, and, and I definitely think uh, the prices are going to go up. But I have been suspecting that we're going to get a pullback first, uh, and this is very interesting that they talk about this. Uh, you know, Bitcoin's price. If we go back over here. It's almost down to 9,100. So it has been calling between the kind of 8,900, 9,500 kind of range, but it was a little bit higher and it was, it's just slowly been getting lower and lower and lower. So yeah, I, I actually think we're going to be in for, uh, not a crash, but I think we're going to be in for a bit of a sell off. And I can absolutely see Bitcoin maybe dropping down even below 8,800. Uh, we'll have to wait and see though. But if I go back to my chart, and as I said, this is the chart for Bitcoin for the last kind of few years. And there we go, didn't want to work for a minute there. So the average trading price has been around $6,000 to $8,000 for Bitcoin for the last three years. It's been up above, it's been down below, but generally it's been trading in and around here. And particularly in this top channel up here is the one that I'm interested in at the moment. So as we can see, Bitcoin has been making kind of lower lows and lower highs for a while, but sort of generally trading sideways. Now, funny enough, the 100 day moving average is sitting at around about 8,800. So I'm wondering if that's what that analyst is seeing. As I said before, I am kind of expecting Bitcoin to bounce off one of these uh, indicators. So we're below the 50 day moving average. Uh, we sort of almost used it as support, but now we're falling down. And here comes the 100 day moving average. And again, it's around about that $8,800 mark that uh, was mentioned on the Cointelegraph. But this is the one that I'm really looking at. The 200 day moving average is quite often what a lot of people see as a buying opportunity. And it's where a lot of support has been found uh, in times. So we'll have to wait and see. I wouldn't be surprised. Again, the sell-off has come a little bit earlier. It's on the Thursday, so it's not even the Friday yet. I'll be interested to see if it uses the 100-day moving averages uh, support or whether we drop down below and get down to that 200-day moving average. Like I said, you know, this is about 8,000 sort of 200. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a bit of a dump before we get that sort of rally. So yeah, interesting times. We'll have to wait and see. That's just my thoughts uh, from what I've been seeing. The Twitter hack, uh, that's really disappointing and you know, particularly for anyone who lost their money, but hopefully you know, it stays at that sort of $170,000 mark, Australian dollars that is. You know, it, it'll be terrible if we find out in the next sort of 24 hours or so that it actually turned into millions. But yeah, unfortunately there's always scams out there. Well, anyway, that's it from me. So that's my market update. Again, I do see us selling off. I think it'll be the 200 day uh, that will be used to support and I expect us to come more down around that possibly $8,000 mark, but we'll have to wait and see. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully some of you's made some gains today and if you didn't, hopefully your losses weren't too bad and I'll see you next time.